Pent is a mathematical code word meaning five. So whenever we see pentominoes, we think of dominoes except with five squares snapped together. Hex is a mathematical code word meaning six. So whenever we see hexiamons, we think of six triangles snapped together. Hexiamons each have a name. For example, the pistol is made like this. The natural question in every mathematician's mind is whether it's possible using these 12 hexiamons to construct an accordion. Hmm, well, let's see if it's possible. Here we go, we're going to snap them into this accordion shape, and indeed we have a solution. Is it possible to find a different solution? Well, let's use symmetry and figure out if there's a different solution here. Well, we can rotate this whole accordion solution to find a different one. We could also use mirror symmetry. We can also look for symmetry within the accordion. So for example, this region at the top has got mirror symmetry and we can reflect it to produce a new answer. Another bit of symmetry that we can find in here is this area here, and that's got rotational symmetry. So I can rotate that by 180 degrees and I can get a new solution there. What else? Well, this region also, I can reflect that because it's got mirror symmetry and I can get a new solution there. Okay, time for a new accordion. This time it's a little bit more elongated. See if you can find uh, different solutions here. Well, first of all, we can rotate the whole thing. That'll give us a solution. We can also try reflecting it. Does it has, have mirror symmetry? Well, let's try. Oh, it doesn't have mirror symmetry. Not in that direction, at least. Let's try if it's got mirror symmetry here. No, it doesn't have mirror symmetry there either. So that doesn't work, but it does have a little bit of symmetry. This bullet shape here, um, we can reflect that to create a new solution. Now I want you guys to try finding symmetry in a whole bunch of different shapes. So I've reproduced them here. You can either take this sheet or you can take this sheet, whichever you prefer, and then, whenever you've played around with this and got some symmetry, uh, find some symmetry in each of the groups, or maybe find all of the symmetric um, possibilities in each one of these creations, then come back to the slideshow and we will go through and explore some of them. I don't promise that I've found them all, but I'll, we'll, we'll try. Here's the propeller. How many solutions does it have? Well, first of all, you can rotate the whole thing and you can get three different solutions that way and you can look at mirror symmetry and here's one line of symmetry so that gives you some solutions and here's another line of symmetry that gives you more and here's another line of symmetry that gives you more we can also find within the propeller this group here that has mirror symmetry. So we can reflect it to get another solution. And down here, we can reflect over here to get another solution. And you can combine all of those to create a lot of different possibilities. I'm not even going to try to figure out how many, but you guys oh, might want to do that. So lazy. 24. So I admit I'm a little bit lazy. I'm going to leave you guys to find as much symmetry as you can in these hexiamond creations. You can look in the video to see some of my discoveries, but I'm sure you'll be able to find more.